we're back. So, um, the last time, oh gosh, what did we do last time? I can't even remember. I know we, oh, right, okay, so we got, um, we got Smiley. That's what we did last time. Sorry, it's been a, it's been a minute. And by that I mean a full day in which I haven't played Pokemon Uranium. I was busy with work, but, um, last time, like, oh, hey, look, when you move your mouse it, Last time we played this, we got Smiley, and um, I played a little bit off camera. Uh, all I did was um, I leveled him up a little bit. I leveled up Smiley, and I think I leveled up one on better Squirrel. But then, while I was leveling them up, just doing like menial grinding, because I mean, y'all don't want to see just me walking back and forth in grass for like 10 minutes, I found an Outen, so we freaking got one! Like, we quested for it for an entire 15 minutes. 15 home, I know, crazy, 15 minutes. And then literally, I turned off the recording and I was like, all right, time to grind. And I found one and I was like, well, crap. So I actually don't know which flying type it would be better, this uh, kitty cat one or this ghost looking one. So we're just gonna keep, keep them both in the party until I decide which one I like better which will most likely be the kitty cat one. And then my friend said that there's a mystery gift for the people. He told me after he watched my first playthrough, he said, because I, I record like three in a row, he said, hey, listen, um, you need to go and get the mystery gift. And I was like, there's a mystery gift? And he was like, hell yeah, dude, there's a mystery gift. So we are going to open it up and see what's inside. And I'll move the mouse off the page now that we don't... What? No new gifts? He lied to me! Oh my goodness. He said there was a rare Pokemans in there. Ugh, feels so bad, man. Oh my goodness. I could have sworn he was telling me the truth. I didn't know that I was... I was being goofed. Well, I guess since... Uh, we were lied to. I guess we'll just start our uh, our journey then. Uh, let's see. Uh, I always start these at nighttime. And I feel bad for that. I guess it's time that we oh uh, continue up the road since. I heard out and nests in this area. I'm trying to catch one. I tried to catch one too, dude. But see, if you're trying to catch one, why are you wasting time with me? Youngster Timothy would like to battle. See, him and I did the same thing where we were just like, eh, I guess I'll go with this one. See, I barely leveled up better squirrel because I was like, well, I much prefer uh, my kitty cat. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be a little OP if uh, all these trainers are level five because I think they're all level ten. Oh god. Um. Let's hope that we outspeed for this one. Dang! What a start. First guy we fight and he already is at zero health. Switch Pokemon? No. So this is a tactic, uh, a, um, a, uh, a pro tip, if you would, where you keep your Pokemon out, and then uh, right whenever you're wanting to, um, so that they can like share XP, it's a pro tip, you know, you share XP this way. Oh no, I took smidgen bit of damage but yeah see I'm two levels above this guy so I'm just gonna okay I thought I would do a lot more damage apparently not I might lose this 1v1 I think I out damage him in the long run but whoa wait is he an electric type uh... I could have sworn that he was a normal type if he's an electric type, that means we have two electric and two normal flying on our team, which is not good. 
means we have a lot of the same typing, which could result in us finding one random trainer who turns out to... There we go. We got better score leveled up. Healer in charge, too. I haven't looked at the Pokedex besides the third starter, because I wanted to see what his typing was, and he was grass and steel. So I was like, well, thank goodness I got the water type, or else I would have been four times resisted, uh, or four times super effective on both other starters. Um, with them being, of course, uh, four times resistant the grass kitten to fire, and four times resistant the fire ground to ice. Or, no. Was it? Am I? Am I stupid? Oh, uh, four times resistant to water. Whoops. I knew it was a blue type. I was just remembering that, um, all of, uh, what's it called? All of Electux's, um, weaknesses can be quickly solved with an Ice Beam, if she can learn it, or he. So we started off, um, our journey to the next, um, town, literally losing all of our health. So, all of my, I thought, prep work, um, might have just been for foil. Because it seems everybody can kick my ass still in this. Dang, Route 2 is already on a... Okay, does this guy get a fight me? Yeah, he is. Crap. Oh, well. I mean, at least now we'll be able to get a rock type in this area. Oh, Mankey. What? I thought that this was 100% new Pokemon. Do they have leftover Pokemon? This is probably why the game got taken down then. So you can't, you can't do that. Nintendo is gonna take it down. What if this is the only like of the Pokedex? This is the only one that um, what's it called? Was uh, was taken from the old Pokemon game, and they were like, we found him. We found our copyright. Do you think we'll be able to win this? Oh, I forgot. It's a normal type, so we're taking like crazy damage. So we gain that solo experience! Will I switch Pokemon? No, hell no. Nah. Whoa, this looks like a little bomb! Ugh, I think this is the best part about a new Pokemon game. Especially one that's not made by Nintendo, is like, it's just a bunch of weird, like, and cool looking Pokemon, I should say. Not weird. And his name is Barrel, like Barrel, and it's a bomb. That's ironic. I think I want one, but I don't know what it evolves into. And I wanna, I wanna be sparing because I don't wanna have to get rid of every single Pokemon I get until I uh, find my perfect team. I know I wanna get them all for the Pokedex, but oh, and he has a little curly top. I could only see that with his raised defense. Oh my God, that's adorable. So it is a, a rock or ground type. Alright, so we got better squirrel leveled up. Looks like you're tough, alright. He kind of. I've always said the hikers look like Sean Connery. Like old Sean Connery, but with like men for gray or gray for men, the hair product. Fifty Shades of Men. Hmm, you're pretty good, it seems. Trade Pokepod numbers with me and I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Yeah. I traded my Pokepod with another trainer earlier who said that he would uh, fight me again. So I think that's just what they do in this game, kind of similar to... Oh god, what was that other game that did the same thing? I know it was another Pokemon game where, like, you could use your, like, um, little wristwatch to find Pokemon trainers you've already fought. Alright, let's try to get us, um... A, oh, crap. Uh, a rock type. Hey! Perfect, we can get a barrel. Also, did you hear this little sound? It's like, huh. Oh. That's adorable. There's so much adorableness in this. I feel like I'm scatterbrained right now because I keep over talking different subjects. Let's hope we don't insta kill it with this. I just hope we get it in the red so we can capture it. I think the reason I'm so scatterbrained is because of the fact that there's so much happening all at once and I'm so excited. Okay, we got it in the red. Perfect. Let me see. Okay, we 
12 six pokeballs perfect all right we got him steel and rock incredibly dense metal makes up barrel's body they are much heavier than they look they live in dark caves and feed on well but I like to give Barrel a nickname, of course. All right, so it, since it was spelled Barrel weird, we're gonna name it something uh something else weird. I'm gonna name it Bomb, cause it's a bomb. All right, we got our first. Let's go bring this back, cause I'm gonna be going back and forth to the Poco stop a lot. I feel like. Oof. Pokestop. That's Pokemon Go lingo. I think my keyboard might be a little bit broken because sometimes I'm pressing stuff and it's not triggering the full reaction. Like, for example, I got stuck on that tree for like 10 minutes because I was trying to go left and it wouldn't let me. What is Rock and Steel weak to? I can't remember, I'll have to look up type chart to see what it's fully weak to. I know that rock is weak to water and steel is weak to fire, but rock resists fire and steel can't get toxic. We're learning so much. Oh, here, let's, let's do this. Pokemon. Move you. Put you up here. Dang. Better squirrel got freaking jacked. I didn't even notice. I wasn't even paying attention. You know what it was? It was all that fighting with um the uh, trainers. Trainers get you so much more EXP and I was just fighting regular. I don't know if you all do this, but I always have to have my weakest Pokemon first and my like most powerful Pokemon last. I don't know. It's just something I do. Actually, type in the comments if you do that. That'd be perfect. Um, it's not ready yet. Okay. I should probably give my Pokemon their berries. I'll do that off screen. I don't want to waste too much time. Actually, you know what? Let's explore this cave next time. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so then um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Be sure if you're liking uh, this series and my running around in circles for ten minutes uh, to put a like on the video and a comment down below so that uh I get the heads up because I, I and you just can't tell me in p person because we don't know each other. So I mean, be sure to do that and I'll see you guys next time then. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.